Hi, my name is Donna Hudson, and I'm a member of the Outreach Committee at Wrightsville United Methodist Church, here to talk about Super Service Saturday. We started this event last year as a way to provide service opportunities to all members of our congregation for a few hours on a Saturday in April, hoping it would become a tradition. Well, since this April is anything but traditional, we plan some outreach activities that can be done at home. A stay at home Super Service Saturday. You'll find our list of suggested outreach activities on the Wrightsville Beach website. Or feel free to use your amazing Wrightsville creativity to spread your joy to the community in your own special way. As you may remember, outreach is the spiritual discipline for April in our Vision 2020. So we hope that you can spend a few hours this month in outreach from home. And we especially would love for you to take photographs of your activities so that we can share them with our congregation. Those pictures can be sent to Pastor Christina at Christina T at rightsfulumc.org. Last Thursday, Maundy Thursday, I learned from Pastor Christina in her morning prayer that the word Maundy is translated from the Latin word for commandment or mandate. As it is written in John 15, 12, at the Passover meal on Thursday night before Easter morning, Jesus gave his disciples a commandment to love each other as I have loved you. Some of you may not know the story of how Family Promise, also known as Interfaith Hospitality Network, was started. In 1982, Karen Olson, a marketing executive in New York City, was rushing past Grand Central Station and noticed a homeless woman she'd passed many times before. But this time on an impulse, she decided to buy a sandwich for the woman. When she gave it to her, the woman reached for Karen's hand and began a conversation. For Karen, the conversation broke through her conception of the homeless to the realization that homeless people are people with hopes and dreams like you and me. The only difference is that they have had one more calamity than they can handle. This incident began, began an effort called Family Promise, a nationwide program of volunteers of all religious faiths. We live in a world when so many of our neighbors feel unloved, defeated, hungry, homeless, or ravaged by addiction. If we follow Jesus' commandment to his disciples, we can be like Karen Olson, who showed her love for her neighbors. I read a book some years ago entitled Same Kind of Different as Me, written by Ron Hall and Denver Moore. It is a memoir of how the lives of these two men, Denver, a homeless person at the Fort Worth Union Gospel Mission, and Ron, a wealthy art dealer, were transformed through their faith journeys and friendship and ultimately their love for each other. Near the end of the book, Denver makes a profound statement that's used in the book title. Denver says that after he met Ron, he worried that he was so different from him. But instead, Denver found out, everybody's different, the same kind of different as me. We're all just regular folks walking down the road God has sent in front of us. So this month, let's take a look at the list of ways we can love our neighbors at the Wrightsville UMC website, especially sir, during this time when our works may be limited by the pandemic. Write a note or draw a picture or send a card of encouragement to a church member or a stranger. First, there's a restaurant gift card for a medical professional or first responder or grocery store clerk. Fill a blessing bag for a walking tall neighbor. Raid your fabric shelf and make some cloth face covers. Post a thank you note on your mailbox for your postal carrier. Or use your imagination in many other ways. But don't forget to let us know what your projects look like by sending us your photos. And finally, take a close look at the Wrightsful UMC logo. For the Lord is the gardener, Jesus is the vine, and we are called the branches so that we may bear much fruit. Let's bear some fruit this month and always. As Jesus directs us, 
Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters, you did for me. Wishing you Easter peace, and remember, every morning is Easter morning from now on. Amen.